I'm going to start recording. Cool. Okay, guys, we're going to do a little bit of warm-up. We're really not doing lower body today, um, so we don't need to do our whole, like, moving around dynamic warm-up, but just start and, like, move your arms around, do some arm circles. And then some, some of this, you can mix in some cocky walk and actually like move around while you're doing it. Maybe a little bit of like a stank face while you're doing it. That makes you feel good. And then arms up here, you're gonna swing them, push back, push down. Just open up your chest and shoulders a little bit. Did anybody on bingo do like push-ups or um, anything else really hard upper body yesterday? Because that would not be good for how today's gonna feel for you, so. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the ground and do this little, um, so like start in a plank position. You're gonna bring one leg forward, reach to one side, reach to the other side, step it back, switch legs. If you have room to move around and actually like travel your leg forward, do that. Um, but it's not, totally works just in place. So spine mobility is on tap for today. So we're gonna do some twisting and bending and all kinds of stuff, but it'd be really good to help you feel opened up after this, especially since your chest is gonna be not opened up. So a couple more of those, do like three or four on each side. We're gonna kind of do like a whole warm up set, and this will be part of it. All right, and after you guys got a couple of those, we're gonna do some cat cows, like yoga. So you're on your hands and knees. You're gonna exhale as you round, and then inhale as you drop your stomach and stick your butt out. Pull your shoulders down and back on that inhale one, two, and the cow. They kind of both seem cowish to me, but they're cat cows. Make sure you exhale all your air out on this cow. We don't often exhale all our stale air out of our bodies, and it's good to kind of just get it all refreshed every now and then. All right, like one or two more of those. Nice deep breaths. And then on the first set of these, we're gonna do it from our hands and knees. This is still our warm up set. So you're gonna put, make sure your hips stay even on that one, on this one, and it may, that just means engage your core. And then one hand by your ear, and you're gonna touch down towards your opposite hand, and then open up. So on the opening up part, your hips are staying stable. So it's really just a twist through your thoracic spine and not your whole body. So twist down, let's do like six on each side. Hips stay even, twist all the way open. Make sure you're breathing, try to match a breath with a movement on these. And then switch sides when you get a six. All right, and then for the last thing in the set, we're gonna grab your mini loop band and put it around your forearms. So um, if you guys have a lot of different levels of bands, go with like a medium tension one. Don't go super light, but don't go really heavy either for forearms. Um, and then we're gonna be in, on the first set, I want you to mimic a plank, but you're gonna be on your knees. We're still getting warmed up, don't worry. This will get plenty hard later. So you're on your forearms, on your knees. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds. So I'm gonna start my watch here in a second. And then we're just gonna go out, maybe like two little movements out, come back to the middle, two little movements back in the other direction. So 
We're just warming up all those muscles in the shoulders. And you'll probably still feel it in your core. Make sure you're not sticking your butt out too much. Um, but we don't need to make this like a full plank situation because we got plenty of that coming up. All right, go, 45 seconds. You're probably already going, so you'll be fine. Just some extra work. I did my thousand meters of butterfly yesterday. So I felt pretty terrible, my upper body. And if your band's moving, you can also put it like right above your elbows. Try to focus on maintaining your forearms that they stay parallel to each other the whole time. And just keep moving back and forth. Your steps can get smaller if you're dying already. And stop there. All right, that's our warm-up set. So we're going to go back to those low lunge with twists. Let's do, let's do 10 of them. So it'll be five each side. <clears throat> so that's the step forward, twist, twist, and then switch. Make sure you're breathing. Do you guys feel like you tend to hold your breath on stuff like this? Is anybody noticing that? Or am I just saying breathe for my own happiness? Cool. Everybody's arms swinging up looks good. Kind of also loosening up our hips when we do this stuff too. This is like one of the best stretches. If you guys are ever just sitting around working on your computer all day and you're like, man, I feel terrible. I'll just do some of these. I feel a little better. All right. Once you guys get to 10, um, we're going to go back to those cat cows. And if you're feeling funky, you can do it from a um, high plank position, meaning be on your hands. Same thing. You're going to twist open while keeping your hips facing the ground. So it's just thoracic spine. Twist towards your hand. Come back up. So we're still only going to do six feet side. So if you choose to do it up in a plank, you're not there that long. But sometimes being on your knees can help you focus on the actual stretch of it. And it also is a little bit harder to keep your hips square to the ground when you're up on your toes too. So if you're really feeling like you need a stretch and you want to stay on your knees, that is totally fine. All right, and then when you get six feet side, we're gonna do one more set of 45 seconds with your loop band around your forearms. Um, so adjust, if you guys have multiple bands that was too easy on the first set, grab a harder one. If it's too hard on the first set, grab an easier one. Do another 45 seconds. Ready, go. And you can either, same thing, you can stay on your knees if that was what felt good on the first set, or you could move to your toes and do this from a plank position. If you're in a plank, I still want the majority of your focus to be on what your arms are doing. So if you feel like challenging your core a little bit right now, it's making it so that you're not taking as wide of like little steps with your forearms, then drop down, focus on your upper body. 10 more seconds left. All righty. Cool, that's our first set. Grab some water if you need it. And if you were worried 
that you were going to get your planks and core in today, that'll be next. Okay. So since it's chest and triceps day, we're going to get right into our first set of push-ups. We're actually not doing any normal push-ups today because um, if any of you know me or worked with me in any capacity, we don't do things normal ways because that's boring. So you're going to start in a regular push-up position and you're going to do, I want you to do a tricep push-up, meaning just kind of close grip. You're going to be and keep your elbows in close to your side. You're going to push up and then rock back and stretch. Come back forward. Go back, swing your hips back. You're going to do 12 of those. So triceps in close to your side, push back into a push up. If this is, um, if you're a knee push upper, all that looks like is here and then switch to your toes and still get that stretch in. So you can come forward to your knees, drop down, shift back. And still keep that nice rhythm. 12 reps. And that means 12 total push-ups. That's like 12 of each movement. All right, everybody. Everybody's tops of their backs are looking great. Guys, hopefully you're feeling the stretch a little bit. We're going to keep the stretch theme through our next thing, too. You guys look like you're still going, so I'll give you another minute. And then from there, we're going to go into, just there you are, and go all the way down into your belly. Um, and then in, in, uh, in yoga, this kind of situation is called a cobra pose. Um, so what you want to focus is pulling your shoulders back down your spine, not letting them be up in your ears. And what we're going to do is focus on your triceps. You're going to keep your hands in really close to your body. Keep your elbows tucked into the side. Don't let them wing out. And you're just going to push yourself up and down using your triceps. So your thighs are staying on the ground. We're going to do 20 of them. So we're still working in our spine mobility while we're here. Your, my feet kind of like to go up. Yours don't have to. It can be whatever with your lower body. All right, get to 20. If your triceps aren't burning, you're doing it wrong. Everybody feeling good? Keep your elbows in tight to your sides. They're going to try to come out. Your body's going to always try to find little ways to make this easier. All right. And then we're going to do one more thing in this set just so we kind of give our arms a little bit of a little break. Grab your mini loop band again. Lay on your back. Put it around your feet. And not your ankles, your feet. And then we're going to lay down on your back. And we're going to do um, no, nothing with your upper body on the first set. Just like bicycle crunches almost, except without the crunch part. So you're going to bring one leg in tight, hold it for a second. Bring the other one in, hold it for a second. Let's do 10 each leg. Focus on the hold, though. I want you to focus on the engagement of your hip flexors while you're in this really closed hip position. And then the other thing is you want to make sure your lower back is being pressed into the ground so that your core is engaged. So nice and far up. I want to work on hip strength through every angle. Especially as triathletes, we need to be able to produce power and stability with our hips all the way up here. So when we're in an arrow position on our bike. So focus on that engagement. Your hip muscles, it'll make single leg drills feel a lot easier. 
on each side, keep it up. Nice and slow. And just think about how your arms are resting. All right, guys, nice work. Focus on your core. And then when you're done with those, we're gonna go back to those racking push-ups. I feel like we can do 15 reps on this set now that we're getting warm. So still focus on getting the stretch in. Your arms are still in tight. They're still kind of tricep-y push-ups. So push up here back into our rock. Um, and so option, you can either do what we did on the first set and kind of rock back here, or you can like shoot your hips up and go into a downward dog. Just a little bit different stretch. We're gonna stretch our hamstrings obviously more on this downward dog one. Fifteen. And if you want to do the downward dog one and, and knee push up, that still goes together. You still do this push up part back to your feet, back into the stretch. 15 reps. If you notice through this set, especially as we're doing the downward dog and then we do the cobra thing on the next set, we're getting spine mobility, both flexion and extension. So even though you might be focusing on your triceps not feeling so great right now, your spine is also getting a really nice stretch through both directions. So that's fun. All right, get to 15. If it looks like they're still going. Except for Ramey, who probably cheated. Okay. All right. Back to Cobra pose, tricep press ups. So, on your belly, um, as we're focusing on breathing, this is just going to be something I keep reminding you guys of. You want to exhale on your press up, inhale on the way down, fill up, exhale your air out, stretch back. Inhale on the way down. We're going to keep doing 20. Moving air and breath through your body should kind of help wake you up a little bit too. I'm hoping you guys are feeling a tricep burn on this one. I definitely am. It probably doesn't help all that butterfly I did yesterday. But like I said, if you're not feeling it and your triceps, raise your hand and tell me. Um, you're probably doing something a little wrong because this would be very weird if it didn't hurt your triceps. Or Amy, keep your elbows in. All right, get to 20, everybody. And then with your loop band, this is one that I think you guys can probably handle a heavier band. So if you felt like yours was a little bit too light on the first set and you have another one, grab the heavier one for the core on this set. Back around your feet. On your back, we're going to stick with 20 reps, so 10 each leg. Nice and slow, get full range of motion on each one. So that means you're stretching your leg out. I'm guessing a lot of you are going to do something like this where you kind of like, switch up in the air and it's way easier. Don't do that. Bring your knee in, press it all the way out and then switch from down here. And the point of this is you're never really giving yourself a break from having to press your um, lower back into the ground and use your core. If you go up here, you're resting, don't do it. We don't need to rest. This is mirror muscles. We have muscles to get. Keep using your core and keep focusing on squeezing your leg up as far as it'll go.
I see Rosie shaking her head around. <laughs> All righty. How are we feeling? How's our upper body so far? You guys appreciate the band thing? It's like a nice break from your chest and tries up hurting. All right, get some water if you need it. And then we're gonna grab our handle band. So we kind of need something to hook your handle band onto. I'm hoping you guys all have some kind of like banister or it looks like outside people you guys have um, like hand railings to hook it onto. That's a good thing to use. So um, if you don't, well, that's gonna be tricky and I'll figure out something in a second. Okay. So I'm gonna move my little thing because I have this right here. All right, so we're gonna go tricep first. So you're gonna face away from wherever your band is coming from. And, hang on. All right, so you're gonna lean forward a little bit just to shift your body weight forward. And then your um, same thing, kind of like almost any time we do push-ups, there's, there's some extensions, um, triceps, I mean. Your elbows are gonna stay facing forward. Don't let them wing out. So we're gonna face forward and we're gonna do overhead tricep extensions. So your upper arms should be staying still and you're just bending and extending your elbows. We're gonna do 20 reps of these. Um, and then you adjust the tension by scooting closer or scooting farther away from wherever your band is coming from. So 20 reps, keep it up. Keep your elbows high too. Sometimes I'll see people when they do these, their elbows will sink down. Keep them up and extended away from your body so that your extension just comes from up top. 20 reps. Sean's holding his elbows, that's a good sign. <laughs> okay, uh, not kind of a weird angle today, huh? <laughs> do. All right, we're gonna still use our band and it's still gonna come from the same position. So your band stays in place, but now you're gonna grab it. You're still, and you're also still facing away. Um, and so now we're gonna do chest flies. So same kind of like stance where you need, might need to lean forward a little bit just to keep your balance, slight bend in your knees. And this one, you're gonna go nice and wide. So a chest fly, and here you're gonna fly, you're gonna think about hugging a tree. You wanna keep your elbows nice and wide. And these feel really good because you can kind of stretch back a little bit. Make sure you maintain a bend in your elbows as you stretch back, so you don't want high hyperx on your shoulders. But getting a little bit of a stretch in these, let's do 15 reps. Same kind of thing with the um, tension of the band. Do easy, scoot away from wherever it's coming from. And if it's too hard, scoot, scoot back closer to it. 15. Make sure you get full extension on each one. Go all the way back. Don't just stay up here and do a little baby flies. We're hugging a very wide, large tree. 15. Okay. All right, once you guys have gotten to 15, we're gonna go back to our loop guy, put it back around your feet. Back to a plank position, um, high plank on your elbows, and we're gonna do slow mountain climbers. So this is really what we kind of similar to what we did on the last set, except you're facing down rather than up. So it's on your feet, and go one elbow, other elbow, ten each side. As you do these, make sure as you get tired, your body will kind of like shift back. 
Focus on keeping your shoulders aligned over top of your wrist. And you'll notice that when you do that, you're like, oh, wow, my core hurts more. That's why your body is shifting backwards, because it doesn't want your core to hurt more. So do it anyway. 10 each side. Try to keep your hips from moving too much. You want to try to keep them stable as you're moving your legs. I keep on tying my shoes with my band. All right, round two, we're going back to triceps. Try to make it a little bit harder. We're gonna do the same reps on these, meaning um, 20 for the triceps. So to make it harder, you either have a harder band or you just move away a little bit farther. So up above your head, press out. And if you are one of the lucky people that has a TRX, this is like a really good tricep exercise to do too. Same kind of situation, except since they're not stretchy, you're letting your body sink down and press up. I can do like three reps of these and I'll be sore for a week. So these are I really good to do too. I have one down there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have one yeah, so if you're doing this, you, yeah, if you're doing this later, you want to do it at another time or for anybody else who's watching later that has TRX, it's a really good modification. Make sure you keep your elbows up high. Don't let them sink down too far. And for all you triathletes, this is um, swimming. You need tricep work to push through the back end of your stroke. So all the way at the end when we tend to pull our arms out early. All right. Back to chest flies. Same thing. Try to make the resistance a little bit heavier if you can, but we're doing the same amount of reps. We got 15 again. Go nice and slowly. I want you guys to still focus on the stretchy portion of this exercise. Think of your favorite tree. Give it a nice big hug. Make sure your core is staying engaged, especially if you're leaning. Well, just always, not especially, just always. Make sure your core is engaged. All right, get to 15, and then we're gonna go back to our slow motion mountain climbers. We're gonna do them a little bit differently. All right, so Sam's gonna go back around your feet. But this time, we're going to do it for a time because there's going to be a lot of different things going on with the reps. So um, this time, what I want you to do is one, at one leg at a time, you're going to go same side elbow. Oops, maybe not. <laughs> if your band stays in place, same side elbow, opposite elbow back, and then switch. Um, so same side, opposite, back. So if you can get your band to stay in place, for some reason, I suck at that. Um, so go ahead, we're gonna do 45 seconds, just get started. And if you're having band issues like I am, just do the same thing you did last. And again, your body's gonna to start to do this thing where your shoulders are not directly over your wrist. Focus on that. I would rather you guys get the blank part right and actually stay in that position than do anything with your lower body. You got 10 seconds left. And stop. All right, how are you feeling? Ugh. Great. Ugh. Grunting is good. Who, like triceps dying, chest dying, core dying. How are we? What's what's the worst? Triceps? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. On our next set, um, we're going to change it up and give our triceps a break on the first thing we do on this set. So um, we're going to do some uh, monster walks because why not? We have a loop band. Here we are. Okay. 
Um, put them around your feet. We're doing a lot of feet band loop thingies today. And then you're gonna, wherever you go. Um, I actually don't care. Let's just do a minute and I don't care how far you go side to side, just that you keep moving side to side. I'm gonna take a little one so I can make sure I stay in my screen and I don't have a ton of room. So ready, go. Um, so you're keeping your, um, the reason it's on your feet is because it shifts the weight back to, or the work of the exercise back more to your glutes and just a slight bend in your knees. So if you wanna do long ones, like 20 steps one way, 20 steps the other way, totally fine. Or if you wanna just go back and forth in place, also totally fine. Make sure your feet stay facing forward. And just think about how your triceps aren't doing anything right now. They're really appreciating the break. We have 20 seconds left, so start to think about making sure you go equal, equal directions. Do you guys do monster walks? Is that part of everybody's routine? We're not gonna admit it if it's not. Cool, <laughs> cool. All right, stop. You're gonna throw your band to the side. We're gonna go back to the ground. And we're gonna do one hard thing and then one less hard thing. All right, so the hard thing, um, definitely gonna want a mat under if you have to drop down to your knees, I, and I actually on this one, I because I want the power out of it, I'd rather you maybe drop down to your knees if you're not a super strong push upper. We're gonna do power push ups. So, what that means is you're in here and you're gonna press yourself, like get some press. If you're strong enough to do that, like if you could do a clap push up and you wanna go for it and like actually get some power, do it. Otherwise, um, we're gonna do 15 reps. So if you can do clap push-ups, however many you can do, do like three. I mean, I think that'd be the maximum that I could do. Um, and then drop down to your knees and do the rest because I want the crust part out of it. And if you're on your knees and you're like, that's not a thing for me, just focus on fast on the way up and then slow on the way down. So that could look like this and then nice and slow on the way back down. But as long as you get to 15 reps, keep trying to get a little bit of power. Cool, 15. Those are fun, right? Yeah, maybe. Okay, cool. All right, so next. Um, if you are near a wall, you're gonna wanna be near a wall. Um, if not, that's totally fine. Um, so we're gonna go here with your uh, big band, but you're probably not gonna grab it, like grab it somewhere towards the middle. And what you wanna do, this is more of a stretch thingy. So what you want to do, first of all, is make sure your hips stay even. Um, I've seen people do this where they put like a foam, like a short foam roller or something in between their knee and the wall to make sure your knee is going to want to come in. And we don't want to do that. So you're going to think about your knee not coming in. You're going to keep one hand against the wall. And with the other hand, you're going to grab your band and twist yourself all the way open. So the reason your hips are staying square, kind of like that first exercise we did where we were really focused on just thoracic spine mobility. And so if your knee is coming in or, or out and you're twisting all the way out, it's not just in that part of your spine. So only six feet side, but go really slowly and try to get the whole range of motion. And if you guys are holding your breath on this one again, and, you, and then stop and notice how when you exhale, you can get more range of motion. All right, once you get your six, face the other way. 
same thing. I want you to focus on your hips being square first. You're gonna grab your, whatever this is, as far. It doesn't have to be really hard. It just should be enough that it's resist, resisted tension as you're twisting. Nice and far, exhale as you're on your way out. Let's get a little farther. Some of you may have noticed that this is also triceps. I'm sorry for sneaking that in there, but it's also spine mobility. And my favorite thing about strength training is when it all comes together. All right. Hopefully you guys are feeling a little bit more mobile. We got one more set of monster walks. So put that back on your feet. We're in a minute and a half this time. Since this is the only leg thing we're doing, we might as well just have stable hips while we're here. All right, so put that back on your feet. Ready, go, minute and a half. Raise your hand if you don't feel monster walks. Anybody? Good. I would say maybe some things that people do when they don't feel them is they, whatever direction they're going in, they'll turn their lead foot out so that it's like facing forward a little bit. That would be one way to do it wrong. So don't do that. Make sure your feet stay facing forward as you're moving laterally. We're halfway through. Um, the other thing I'm trying to think of common mistakes. So some people will let their feet come all the way together in the middle where there's no tension. Make sure when you come back, your hip width distance at the narrowest point of your monster walks. Um, let me think. Another thing people will do is kind of like, like swing their hips to move themselves over. If that could be you, knock it off. If your <laughs> upper body is stable. Yeah. Yeah, that's some of us, I know. And that's what we tend to do when we get tired. We got 10 more seconds. All righty, that's it. Okay guys, one more set of power push-ups. 15. So whatever you gotta do, whether that means start on your knees, um, whether you're super strong and you're gonna mix in some clap push-ups, We're just gonna get some power. We're gonna go to 15. And the other important part about this is if you're doing the power and you're actually leaving the ground, don't land hard back on your hands. Make sure there's like an element of softening into that landing. And what you should kind of feel from that is your fingers are grabbing the ground first rather than just like smashing into your, into your palm. So make sure that landing part, prioritize that. Alrighty. Once you guys get to 15, we're gonna do one more set of the stretchy, whatever, I don't know what that's called. Go against the wall. You guys should see what my notes look like as I'm planning workouts that make no sense. They kind of just, sometimes I follow the plan, sometimes I don't. Usually I make up workouts as I go. I don't know what you would call, you probably call this a bunch of different names of things all scrunched together. All right, let's do eight this time. Um, and if that means if you need to have less tension in your band to get to eight and make sure you get all the way stretched wide, don't let the band restrict your range of motion. You want it to have a little bit of tension, but you don't want it to have you cause you to stop early on your opening twist. So focus on your hips staying square, facing forward. Don't let them twist with you. Get to eight on one side and then switch. Um, yeah, we're good. 
I don't have my phone roll. I was going to say, if you guys are watching this in the future land and you have something that you can put between your knee and the wall, like I have this yoga block, and if I get close to the wall and put my knee there, it really helps me focus on keeping my hips square forward. And like a minute ago, it was like, I'm totally keeping my head square forward. And then I just added this block and I'm like, okay, oh, kind of wasn't. So if you do this again in the future, try that. It really helps put you in the right position and works your adductors, which is fun and useful. Let's get the eight on that side. All right, we're done. Unless you guys want to do, do you guys want to do another set of power push-ups? You guys were looking like you really feel like that would be a good time. Sean, no, thumbs down, got it. Aaron, more power push-ups, thumbs up. All right, that's going in your training peaks, got it. <laughs> All right, anybody have any questions for me? This is Aaron right down there is my PT and he's the smartest PT ever. He knows a lot of things too. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to use either of us. No? Cool. Everybody seems to just want coffee after this is over and not have questions. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go get coffee. Bye, guys. Thanks, Thanks Laura. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Laura.